Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. We're going to DV off our plane or our choo choo train of salacious stories, and we're going to go back and look at something that. It's quite extraordinary, <laughs> to say the least. But we're going to get off the celebrity track. Um, and we're going to get in the Guinness World Book of Records. And sit and try to understand why this lady would grow her nails to where she can't do anything. I can't see her really doing anything. Cooking, cleaning, uh, bathing her body, any of that good stuff. Because if she couldn't paint her nails, then... What makes us think she could do the other stuff that normal people do every day? All right. I don't see the fascination in nails that long. Because they become not nails anymore. They become claws. Okay. And we know she ain't no bird. So what the hell is going on here? But a lot of, um, a lot of news outlets had it. And this, I'm just going to get to the first one I saw, which is Fox uh, 9 News in Minnesota. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, Mari Glupper wrote it up for us. And it says, Minnesota woman sets record for world's longest fingernails. And you see, they look like poles or tree barks or something. <laughs> she couldn't even drive. I mean, how could she take care of herself? I, I just don't understand. Maybe she have a nanny. Maybe she have a caregiver or something. But I don't understand. I can see growing your hair, but not your nails. They just look unnormal. They just look abnormal. But anyway, let's go on and get into the story that um, Fox 9 here brought out to us. It says... Uh, everyone has something about them that makes them feel unique. Now, that's true. That's true. That's true. But I don't see how these fingernails is going to make someone feel unique when they can very do very little with them. But anyway, it says, um, but it doesn't take a long to put fingernails on what makes Diane Armstrong so special. Yes, that's baby girl Diane up there. Except in her Guinness Book of Records. I wonder do they get money for this kind of stuff as well. Or they just get a little plaque and recognized in the Guinness Book of World Records of people doing extraordinary things. Or things that just like make you go, mm, did they really do that? Okay, and they're the only one that have done it, or had to be the one, only one who have done it. But I'm pretty sure somebody later on is going to do the same foolish thing and grow their nails and try to outbeat her. Because that's what competition is all about, right? But we're going back to the story. It says, I was really shocked about it, because to me, I didn't think they were that long. But to other people, they were long. But I didn't think so at the time, Armstrong said. And I'm like, really, Armstrong? Look at them damn nails going over that balancer. Really? And you're holding them like they tree bark sticks, like a pole. Really? Okay. And you thought they weren't extraordinary or strange. And people looked at you very perplexed, very confused. And why would you do this to yourself? Okay. But anyway, um... Guinness uh, Book of Records says this 36, this 63-year-old grandmother from Minneapolis set a new record for having the longest fingernails in the world. Okay, so she's 63. Let's just take it. She took early retirement. So that's why uh, she could do these things, which, again, I don't understand how she can groom herself. But that's just me. Maybe my family can come on in, weigh in with me on this extra ordinary story i'm bringing out on just regular people not celebrities but i guess now she is considered to be a celebrity a uh, local celebrity for strange things that people come up with and do 
All right. But anyway, <clears throat> uh, I thought someone was playing a joke on me. She said, I really did. So I hung up on them. Then two or three days later, I told my daughter about it. And she said, Mom, you should take that phone call. You should take their phone call. Altogether, they measured 42 feet and 10 inches long and take two dozen. Oh, Lord, two dozen. That's 24. Ooh, okay, 24 bottles of uh, polish in two days for her grandchildren to do her nails once a year. Some people say, ooh, they are so beautiful. Then other people make faces like I would have been. Like, woman, are you crazy? How are you grooming yourself, baby? Because, <sighs> you know, people that are obese, they have a hard time wiping back there. You know what I'm saying? Because their arms become short because their body too big. You know what I'm saying? To uh, get back there and refresh yourself. But, yes, yeah, so I'm the one that's looking at you very perplexed and confused and like, why? Okay, Why? need to have your head examined or something to that effect but go on moving back on to the story it says um some people make faces so i stay in the house most of the time she explained so you put your own self in the house uh you becoming a introvert you're taking yourself away from society because you are ashamed of these fingernails i'm like in a sense you should be they're too damn long woman they they about as big as you they is just as tall as you give a few to a little feet here or there who but anyway okay armstrong says she always had long nails like her mother but since her 16 year old daughter leticia who used to manicure armstrong's armstrong's nails every weekend died from an asthma attack in her sleep uh 25 years ago armstrong says she can't bear to cut them anytime i thought about cutting them off it gave me chills like i'm going through that grief all over again i didn't want to go through that again so i just kept them it's like keeping her close to me armstrong said now just a sidebar i'm like lady go get some definitely definitely psych treatment okay go have someone that you can talk to to get you out of this uh scenario that you're connected with your daughter through your nails okay uh that's a piss poor way of trying to say you miss her in this that and the third because you can definitely do something else than grow nails like this because i'm telling you you got to have some health issues with having nails that long and you could be prone to several bacterial infections so just because in your mind you feel like this is holding you on to your daughter well your daughter wasn't your nail okay she was a part of you just like the rest of your children if your other children died so differently you would pick up other little things to remind them how about a picture how about a piece of clothing you know what I'm saying? or just how about your memory ah it's too strange too strange People do some strange things for some change, boy. But going back to the article, it says the length of Armstrong's fingernails can make it difficult to do many daily tasks. You think? Do you think? You couldn't cook for me. I don't think I could say you just wouldn't cook for me. You wouldn't clean either. Uh, but we'll get the family's input down in the comment section. Please tell us what you think about this particular article. About these wimp, this woman growing her fingernails so dark on long. All right. She couldn't even carry a plate to feed somebody. I'm like, girl. But anyway. Okay. It says it's difficult to do many daily tasks like picking clothes or money from the floor. Go figure. If it's something on the floor, if I ball it up or curl it up, I use my toes. I, if I have to pick up a phone or something, I cross them and pick it up. She says, but when it comes to keeping her daughter's memory alive, Armstrong has gotten it nailed. When I started growing them, it wasn't to be in the Guinness Book of Records or World Records. She added or said, now since I am, I tell people you shouldn't judge people because you don't know what people have gone through. And I understand we, we, we're really not judging you, the person. We're judging your mentality to think that you think it's okay to grow your fingernails that damn long. It's called talk therapy if you need to have medicine along with that go feel free do that for yourself because this shit is not normal and you talking about you got to take 24 bottles of fingernail polish to paint those jokers 
it's, it's like you could use those little them nails to set up a tent or something. This is so ridiculous. No, somebody really need to talk to her, have a good old fashioned sit down conversation with the lady. Cause I'm telling you, she can get some infection going on. Then what you gonna do then? Oh, but that's my story, y'all. That's my human nature story. I thought I would take, you know, take some um, time off from giving y'all nothing but celebrity stories. But in a sense, this is a celebrity. She's in the Guinness Book of World Records for um, doing some type of feat. Her feat was um, to grow her nails longer than uh, the next person, I guess. Whew. Mm -mm -mm. We'll keep her in prayer. We're going to keep her in prayer. Because nothing ain't good. Nothing can come good of those nails. Phew. But that's all I got for this video, guys. I ain't got no more. Y'all get down in those com comment sections and tell me what y'all thought about this lady grieving. And that's why I'm grieving her uh, deceased daughter. I think her daughter died at 16 in her sleep. But uh, again, uh, we can't associate death with doing strange things like this. Okay. Always keep them in your memory. Get a souvenir of what they had while they were still here. Cherish that, okay? Because we're not all here to be uh, here to just live life without expiring one day. Uh, though 16 is very young to lose a child or loved one. Uh, we got to understand that this is not the way. This is not the healthy way to try to remember them, okay? Because again... Her daughter wasn't her nail. I mean, she could have named some famous um, fingernail polish after her. You know what I'm saying? Her favorite fingernail polish color. She could have got it, made it, and and named it her daughter's name uh, to remind her that her daughter used to do her hair and this was these were her favorite colors to paint my nails. But to grow something as hideous as that, oh no no no! Oh, I can't see that. I can't. I can't even rationalize her even doing it. But, honey, that's Miss Diane Armstrong, out loud and in charge, showing us her nails. She got the uh, world record of the woman, the first woman oh, ever holding that title, the longest fingernails. All right? Now, I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.